Hello everyone, I am Charmaine Brown and I am blessed to be here with you today in studio. It's mental health, a holistic impact. Um, it's, we are on Impact Gospel Radio and this is a show that we do every Monday at 6.30 Central Daytime. And um, let's welcome those who normally watch, welcome. And those who are just joining us for the first time, welcome. We welcome you with a with an open arm. I, I just want you to know that this is a safe place to be. This is where you can analyze what you're feeling, um, do some self-reflection, and think about things that you have been through and where you are at in your life and what you can do to fix that. This is where I talk about anything and everything that affects our mental health so that we may be off balance. And when we're off balance, it really take a while. It really take focus and um, self-love to get back in balance. A lot of us think it's don't realize the amount of work it does for us, for a person, to when they are out of balance, especially with their mental health, because mental health, when it's out of balance, everywhere else is out of balance. I mean, every other area of your life, your spiritual life, your physical life, your emotional life, name it. That's a part of life I'm talking about. That is off balance, and it takes, takes great effort for some people who doesn't have resilience takes great effort for some people who have never done one-to-one um, -one time with themselves. They always find themselves in a group of people or with another person for them to recover. That's something dangerous. Uh, and this show, I really want to focus on us. I want to talk a little bit about our lives, what we are, what we become, and what we think we should, where we think we should be, and how to get there. And then I might go into the Raymond family saga where we stopped the last time. So let's let's talk. I wanna talk. I like having a conversation with you. I, I don't know, it's, I think it's my gift. Maybe I don't do it well for some people because you know, there are people who criticize people. Yes, I'm talking to you over in the camera. There are people there who criticize others. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. There are people there who criticize each other. Um, even if it's done well, it's not done well enough for them. And even if it doesn't do, uh, even if it doesn't do, even, <laughs> stop it. Even if it doesn't, if it doesn't go well, it's worse for them. And so in my mind and in my life, Whatever you think about me and whatever I bring across from you, I really want you to get the message. But there are some people who will criticize no matter what, to the point where they lose the message. I am really sorry for you. Like, I have sympathy for you, people who does that. I want to talk about, it's not such boundary per se, but self-love with boundaries. <laughs> If you can put it like that, I don't know. I think, I think when we love ourselves, we ha we should have boundaries. Though, each time I talk to people and I might have a session um, with someone, they love themselves. Well, they claim to love themselves, but not enough to put themselves first. Um, I'm not telling you people to be narcissistic. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, you cannot say you love yourself, yet you can't forgive yourself. You cannot say you love yourself, less, less, and you can't pamper yourself. And this doesn't mean money pampering. It means self-talk, positive self-talk. You cannot say you love yourself and each time somebody says something that you don't like, you damage yourself with your words and your mind. Safety, you need to stop it. When I'm over there with you, you don't do this foolishness. But when, when, when Michael is over there with you, you do this foolishness. You need to stop it, okay? She, she totally behaved with me. And it's not that I'm... I don't know. She totally behaved with me. She'll lay there and she will just bask in the love that I'm giving her. And just love love. She loves love. 
But then Michael play with her and and she love to fight, the play fight and stuff like that. Stop it! You're distracting me. Sorry, people. And you all know I have a dog, Softy. Sometimes she can behave and sometimes she doesn't. Just like us human beings. But I expect that from the dog. <laughs> I don't expect that from humans. <laughs> but, 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 we are not perfect. And so, as I was saying, we cannot say we love ourselves. And cannot show ourselves compassion. We cannot show ourselves the, the, the kindness that we show other people. And think about it. I want to provoke your mind today. If you cannot show yourself kindness, do you really think you're showing other people kindness? Because if you don't know kindness, you, you can't give kindness. Yeah, you might give somebody some coins. You see them on the road and you give them some coins because you have some loose coins and you think they will do, do better with it than you. Or you, you have extra shoes and you said, you know what, I think Miss Jane would like um, this shoe because it will keep her feet um, warm. If you don't know, as a matter of fact, I know somewhere in the Bible it says if you don't love yourself, you can't love others. Think about it. All those fanatics out there who, who are saying, Charmaine, where in the Bible did you see that you're lying? Yeah, the Bible said love God, love yourself, and then love others. So why, why did the Bible say love God, love yourself, and love others? Because you have to learn to love yourself first before you can love others. That's what it means, people. You don't think that's what it means? Really? What I'm saying is, people always come around me, come in front of me, come beside me. People always, you ask them, do you, tell me about yourself. You ask them, tell me about yourself. Honestly, out of 100% of people, 20% can hardly, hardly speak talk about who they are I will have five people and these five I'm calling a hundred percent and two or, or two two and a half or two and, two and a quarter of these people out of the five only two and a quarter can can talk about themselves and they still don't know who they are in totality and when I mean in totality, I know that it's only God can know who you, you are in fullness. But I mean what you like, who you are, your personality, your characteristic. How, how do you interact with people? Less, less than two out of the five can tell some stuff about them. They'll say, I'm kind. Let me, let me I, I write down some things here what what some people say I'm strong I'm loyal I'm kind and um I I, I I'm easily you I'm easily satisfied and you said go on go on tell me more and they're struggling they're struggling to know who they are. They're struggling because they're so busy. They're so busy in their lives. I don't know what. I know life, life can get busy with work and family and trauma and stress and depression and love and, and all the things in between. I really know life can get busy. I, am, I was at that point and as a matter of fact, I think I'm at that point now working five days a week I think I'm at that point I know I know life can get busy but no one's worth 24 hours <laughs> I don't want to laugh because if I laugh I'm my stomach not feeling that great <laughs> I know no one work 24 hours because those people who work with unions, those people who are unionized, there are certain amount of hours you work per day and certain amount of extra hours that you work on those hours. But you cannot work 24 hours a day because you put yourself at risk and you put other people at risk 
and you put the company at risk when you do work 24 hours so i am sure unless you work for yourself you work 24 hours i'm sure if you work in a company if it's not your company and you're working and you're unionized you do not work 24 hours a day those people who are not unionized are you do not work 24 hours a day because you know that you're not getting the amount of pay that you deserve for it and you're saying Charmy, why am i talking about work and extra hours because you have time in the 24 hours to think about who you are if every day you take five minutes out of your time to process who you are to think about your characteristic to think about your personality to think about how you would like to be treated to think about how you would like how you would like to treat others to think about the people who are in your life and what they contribute in your life what they're contributing in your life and to think about your life and what you're contributing in others life 10 minutes every day will make a difference you cannot just have five things about you people it's, it's really really bad if you can just say you have like most people are strong most people are kind well they think they are kind because the word easy like they say like in their mind you're thinking they gave somebody um some coffee the other day and they think they're kind giving away coffee people doesn't mean that you're kind it means that you were trying to show a little bit of compassion somewhere along the line or maybe you had a lot and so you want to give some away my tea is getting cold shows that the room is cold so what i'm saying is you cannot allow people to use you because they know more about you than yourself i'm going to repeat myself you cannot allow people to use you because they know more about you than how you know about yourself i just want that to process in your head while i drink some nice ginger tea over here getting cold and I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna come back let's take a break we will be right back after these messages Mental Health Horizon is a mental health counseling and recovery service facilitating a social media show entitled Mental Health, A Holistic Impact, airing every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Central Time on YouTube, Rumble, Tumblr, and heard on Impact Gospel Radio. Our mental health counseling and recovery services are for individuals, groups, families, marriages, mental health rehabilitation from various life events, employment therapy, and mental health workshops. Charmaine Brown, a licensed registered psychotherapist, full of love and compassion for people and loved by her family and friends for her straightforward approach. Visit us at www.mentalhealthhorizon.com or contact us by email at info at mentalhealthhorizon.com or call us at 431-721-2172. Impact Gospel Radio, live from Brooklyn, New York. Listen for music, prayer, talk radio, law, health, education. Impact Gospel Radio. Shows like Mental Health, A Holistic Impact, Impactful Women, Prayer, Praise, and Prophetic Conference. Impact Gospel Radio. Listen today. Listen to Island Christian Music with Jason Royalty. Like, share, and subscribe on YouTube at Jason Royalty. We have met some friends along our journey. Lindhurst Jerk and Gyro, 307 Ridge Road in Lindhurst, New Jersey, has some great food. 
Charming Lawn Care in Catonsville, Maryland. That's the Baltimore area. A team of energetic and friendly young people ready to help with your lawn care needs. And a book by Taylor McIntyre entitled When Head and Heart Collide. Simplify. Resting in your faith with your host, Pastor Michael Clark. Every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Central Time on YouTube, Tumblr, and Rumble. Simplify your faith, your walk, your viewpoint. Join me each week as we discuss Jesus, His work, and the resurrection power of His sacrifice that is alive in you. It's raw, but it's family-friendly with your hosts, Charmaine and Michael, talking about faith, politics, world events, controversy, anything and everything that comes from our hearts, our opinion, and into the atmosphere. It's raw every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. on YouTube, Tumblr, and Rumble. And now back to mental health, a holistic Welcome back, everyone. I am Charmaine Brown, and I'm blessed to be here with you. Yes, most times when I say I'm blessed, people, you, you don't need people to validate your blessings. You don't need people to validate who you are. You don't need people to tell you how you are feeling. You need to tell people how you are feeling. And you need to know why you are feeling how you are feeling. So that when people ask you, why did you say that? You can give them the rationale and the reason why. And so when I said I'm blessed, you people out there who are, oh my God, oh, and, and, and carry not. Please don't do that with me. Don't, don't do it. That when, when I go some places and I said I am blessed and some people ask to what extent. Don't, don't do that. That's, that you validate your own response and validate your own um, quanti quantitativeness. Don't validate my quantitativeness because when I said I'm blessed, I'm blessed. The reason why I'm blessed, I know where I'm coming from. I know where I should have been and I know where I am and I know where I'm going. And so I am extremely blessed. I am blessed plus tax. So yes, I'm blessed people. Stop quantifying, quantifying my blessing. I walk into a place and said, I said, how are you? I'm good. They ask me, how am I? I'm blessed. I, I, I don't I don't own your answer people answer for yourself and when somebody has answer and it's different from yours just just think about it why why am I feeling this way and why did this person respond that way what is going on if you want to ask a question go ask a question but don't validate the other person's feeling let the person validate their own feeling I was talking about you us, me, us. I'm talking about us because I am, I am saddened. I'm really saddened when I ask people, tell me about yourself and you, you really can't. You give like five ad adjectives and think that, and, and I'm thinking, my dog have those characteristics. I'm sorry, people. I'm not... I, I want to make this clear. Some of the characteristics that people say they have, honestly, Safty have those characteristics. And Safty have more characteristics than when people tell me what's going on, like who you are. I can see qualities in Safty that I can say this dog is this, this dog is this, this dog is this, this dog is this and I can go on but when I ask people who are you, tell me more about you they are fumbling, they are they are thinking hard they are fight word searching they are, they are characteristic searching, they are personality searching 
they are searching hard to come up with who they are and that's not good that's a mental health issue and this is where I come to deal with mental health issue as a, as a licensed certified psychotherapist it should be rolling off your tongue who you are should be rolling off your tongue when you go on a dating go on a date and somebody asks tell me about you you shouldn't be searching and then that person go out with you a few times and and know more about you than you and start to use their brains on you start to tell you this start to manipulate you start to gas firing you or gas lighting i said gas firing ah! <laughs> that's good <laughs> They start to guess. <laughs> I think that's a that's a light a word because if if they're gaslighting you, they're setting you on fire. <laughs> this is funny. I like this. I actually like this. All right. They start to do these things to you where you are losing yourself into this other person. You're losing yourself. You're losing the value that you have. You want to build. You haven't built it yet. Because if you had built it and solidified it, it wouldn't. You wouldn't lose it so easy. That's what I'm saying. And you're saying, Charmaine, what? what you're talking too big and whatever. So let let simplify it. <laughs> let use my husband word simplify. <laughs> let's simplify what I'm saying. So. You meet someone and you went on a couple of dates. The person asks you who you are. Tell me a little bit about yourself. And you said, I'm strong. I'm outgoing. I am kind. I love people. And you start searching in yourself, what next? You start thinking hard, who am I? What next? What do I? Who am I? Oh, and, and you come up with, I'm flexible. And then you come up with, um, I'm a fa family, I'm family oriented. And then you're searching again, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And then you just stop there and then you say, tell me about yourself. You, you flip the question to the person because you don't know no, nothing else about you. You tell the person six things about yourself. And, and searching so hard to come up with more things that you really are. But you can't find any more because you didn't spend any time with yourself. And so this person going out with you, go out with you a few times and, 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 and seek you out. Try to tamper with you, seek you out. And then start to use manipulation with you. Start to use... Uh, gas lighting with you start to to, to 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 demeanor you start to put words in your mouth of who you are did you do you hear what's going on in the in 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 in, in the studio people can you get the dog out sati go out out thank you did you hear that race around michael and safty they're like kids they start to put things into you that you think, oh, was I like this? Oh, was I like this? Oh, was I like this? Oh, you start changing the thought process of what the person say you were and put it in your head and start to degrade yourself, start to tell yourself bad things about you because they said this is what you were because you did not know who you truly are. You do not know who you truly are. So anybody can step in and tell you these things. Don't. Far. I keep telling people. People, you need to farm boundaries. Yes, boundaries and self and 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 self care is is brothers and sisters. Not cousins. They are from the same parent. Boundaries and self-care. They are from the same parent. They are brothers and sisters. 
If you know how to care for yourself, you know how to form boundaries. They link. They are brothers and sisters. They are from the same parent. They are from the same gene. Alright, I'm going to repeat myself because I don't think people understand. And the reason why I can't come here each week, because it makes me, it makes me sad, people. You know why? Because I know you deserve the best. You deserve so much. But when you don't know it, you can't get it. Because you don't know when you're getting it. <laughs> And you don't know when people are taking it, take, taking away from you. So that's what I'm coming about. Self care, spending time with yourself, at the, and people. I'm gonna go back there. Most of us go to the gym every day, <clears throat> religiously. Four times a week, religiously. Three times a week, religiously. Two times a week, religiously. You need to set a schedule and part of that schedule you should spend time with yourself at least for 10 minutes per day and not think about the problems you have the, when you spend the, spending time with yourself doesn't mean to think about the problems that you have and how to figure them out that's beside the point it means that you spend time with yourself and try to grasp who you are Try to analyze your characteristics, your values, what you stand for, your personality. Try to analyze that and then find ways to solidify that. Make it become a solid foundation in your life. If you said you are compassionate, then you need to know why you are compassionate. And how can you continuously be compassionate? That's what I mean to make it solid in your life that's what I mean I am really saddened I'm really saddened because there are lots of people out there who who deserve so much more but somewhere along the line during birth and where they are somewhere along that continuum something went wrong and it, it just tear at the fiber of this thread it ripped the thread of who they are the fiber has been picked at and, and and keep picking people keep picking at something in you picking at something in you and then and, and until the fiber loosen sometime breaks and so you're trying to find out who you are and and it's hard because it sometimes is very hard for people to get back to the place where they are, where they were, where they had a, a solid foundation. Because people who they trust and love are even people who, have, who they have never met, strangers. Pick at them, pick at them, pick at them, pick at them until they lose what they were. And so what do we do? What do we do? Well, for me, well, no one can pick at me and pick at my fiber. But when I was younger, of course, <laughs> when I was younger, people could pick at me, but it didn't change. It didn't change my thoughts of who I was. It didn't change my thought of who I was. As a matter of fact, I was more satisfied in who I was when people pick at me when I was younger, because I knew I could be a tyrant. I knew I could be. Um, vicious I knew I could be revengeful I knew I could stand for myself so the more they pick at me was the more I knew who I was I'm gonna take a break and when we come back we're just gonna talk a little bit more about this and then get into the Raymond family saga let's take a break we will be right back after these messages Mental Health Horizon is a mental health counseling and recovery service facilitating a social media show entitled Mental Health, A Holistic Impact, airing every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Central Time on YouTube, Rumble, Tumblr, and heard on Impact Gospel Radio. Our mental health counseling and recovery services are for individuals, groups, families, marriages, mental health rehabilitation from various life events, 
employment therapy, and mental health workshops. Charmaine Brown, a licensed, registered psychotherapist, full of love and compassion for people and loved by her family and friends for her straightforward approach. Visit us at www.mentalhealthhorizon.com or contact us by email at info at mentalhealthhorizon.com or call us at 431-721-2172. Impact Solutions Jamaican Passport Specialist Dr. Clifton Ruddy for first time applications, certifications for tax ID, expired, lost, or stolen passports, Jamaican citizenship and passport name changes. For all your Jamaican passport needs, Impact Solutions 101.com, Impact Solutions 101 at gmail.com, or call 347 817 0040. Listen to Island Christian Music with Jason Royalty. Like, share, and subscribe on YouTube at Jason Royalty. Young until me get older, been covered by the hands of Jehovah. No weapon I We have met some friends along our journey. Lindhurst Jerk and Gyro, 307 Ridge Road in Lindhurst, New Jersey, has some great food. Charming Lawn Care in Catonsville, Maryland. That's the Baltimore area. A team of energetic and friendly young people ready to help with your lawn care needs. And a book by Taylor McIntyre entitled When Head and Heart Collide. Simplify. Resting in your faith with your host, Pastor Michael Clark. Every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Central Time on YouTube, Tumblr, and Rumble. Simplify your faith, your walk, your viewpoint. Join me each week as we discuss Jesus, His work, and the resurrection power of His sacrifice that is alive in you. It's raw, but it's family-friendly with your hosts, Charmaine and Michael, talking about faith, politics, world events, controversies, anything and everything that comes from our heart, our opinion, and into the atmosphere. It's raw every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. on YouTube, Tumblr, and Rumble. And now back to mental health, a holistic Welcome back everyone. I am Charmaine Brown and I'm blessed to be here with you. Yes, I'm extremely blessed. This is Mental Health, a holistic impact and we're on Impact Gospel Radio. We are talking about knowing who we are so people don't drag us like a carpet around. We don't want people to drag us like a carpet around because we, we, we can't stand on our, on our own two feet. Because we don't know where we have lost ourselves and how to regain ourselves. I don't want that for you. I, will, I, I want to see you stand tall in confidence with high esteem. I want that for you. I want to, you to know that you can do all things. Nothing is impossible. Well, for me, nothing is possible. Um, through Christ so what we're going to do we're going to reflect we're going to meditate we're going to ask ourselves questions and seek the questions in us we're not going to ask people questions about us for people to tell us about us no don't do that you need to ask yourself Charmaine who are you What would you like in your life? What have you gone through, Charmaine? Why have you gone through it? How do you see yourself coming through that, Charmaine? And where do you see yourself going? Ask yourself questions. 
and find the answers. It's right there in you. It's right there. If you can't ask yourself, if you feel like you're, you can't trust yourself, well, trust God. Ask God. Ask Him. He knows who you are. Let Him tell you who you are if you lost yourself. Stop making people drag you along the way. It doesn't suit you. And be around kind people. People who can uplift you. People who will who will help you along the way. Who will stretch a hand out when you're not doing quite well. Seek counseling if you must seek counseling. Go find a physio a psychotherapist. You need to, to, to do these things for you. You need these things for you. You're an awesome person. Tell yourself good things. Uplift yourself with your kind words. Not with words that you hear people say you're nothing. No. Tell yourself you are a good person. You deserve good. You are compassionate. You are beautiful. You are handsome. Tell yourself these things. Look in the mirror and tell yourself these things while you are looking at yourself. We are going into some of the fa Raymond family saga. Um, we were at where Karen met this guy on the bus. She was coming from Newark, New Jersey. And this guy was coming from somewhere. Um, and they they went on the train. Was it the train? Yeah, the bus. The bus. They went on the bus and they were, Karen, they were both going into New York. Karen wanted him to shut up. But he was still talking. And Karen said, you know what? Let me listen to what he have to say. Because I can't think with him talking anyways. And so they started talking and started knowing each other. And... They ended up coming off at George Washington Bridge bus terminal and in New York. And then this guy um, said to her that I, I, I need to um, tell you my name. Um, mm, Kev, Kev Richards. His name was Kev Richard. And he was trying to convince Karen to stay with him in Cobble Hill. <laughs> Don't forget that Karen knew no one in New York. He, uh, she knew that her aunt Veronica went to visit Veronica's friend in New York and in her mind she was able to find that place in New York not realizing that New York is a big place. And so here Kev Richard introduced himself and said, I am Kev Richards. And he tried to convince Karen to stay in Cabo Hill with, with him. Let's get into the story. Season 2, Episode 4. So what do you think was going to happen to Karen? What do you think it was, what was going to happen to Karen? Think about it. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? And would you have gone with this guy? Would you have leave, leave where you were and gone to somewhere to find somebody that you don't know where to find? Let's see. It took current, it took six years. Hmm. So she left 19. 19 and 6 is 25, is it? Perfect. My, my, my people are not young, you know. I'm not young. I'm not spring chicken. I'm not spring chicken. I have gray hair. If 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 the producer want to show you my gray hair, the producer can show you my gray hair. Can you show them my gray hair, please? I have gray hair somewhere. Don't I have gray hair? No. Please find a gray hair and show them. Perfect. I'm not spring chicken. I'm a fall. <laughs> I'm a hen. <laughs> um, I said that because sometimes when I'm checking, I, I don't remember. I was very good at maths, but sometimes I have to say 90 and 5. Take one over there, make 20, and 5 leaves, so 25. Anyways, 
So now Karen was 25. Wow. This is this is not going good. I don't know who write this story. This 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 writer should have looked over the story. But listen to this. It took six years for Karen to realize that she was about to die from the physical, emotional, psychological, financial, and spiritual abuses she sustained from Kevin Richards. She the person she met on the bus. Six years. Six years, people. How many years are we on the bus? The people who we meet in our lives. How many years are, are, are we being tortured? How many years are people been telling us things that we are not? That we in ourselves, we know in ourselves, in our gut, we know that that's not the person who we are. We know that we are worthy. We know that we don't deserve the bad treatment that somebody is treating us. We know it in our gut. We know that we are not supposed to be physically abused and hit. We know it. We know that we shouldn't allow people to keep telling us that we are no good. In our gut, we know it. But they have been doing this over and over and over and over and convince us in our mind that that's the way we are. And to break that trauma and to break that post-traumatic stress that we have over and over when we see these people and when we hear these things and when we feel these sensations, to break that, it's going to take some work, people. You need to work on yourself. Those people who are working on yourself, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Keep on working. Keep on. If you can help someone, work on them. If you can guide someone, go ahead with their permission. Go ahead. Go ahead. But this was Karen. Six years after her aunt died and gave her a package. Her aunt gave her a package with things that were important in that package and gave it to her and said, when you're in trouble, use this information. And she was going through, she was going through grief in such a way that she was not focused. She took a bus and she went to New York, met a guy on a bus and went to live with Kevin in Cobble Hill. And six years after, this was what Karen came out to be. Abused. Abused. We will continue in the story. I just want to chat with you about Mental Health Horizon. And so Mental Health Horizon, it's a... It's an organization where there are psychotherapists. And a lot of you people out there and, me, and, and the medias these medias telling people not to go look help and not to go find counseling and don't pay their money to go seek the help they need. You need to stop it because if you have family member who are not in their right mind, and I'm not talking about diagnosed, diagnosed mental health issue like schizophrenia. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who are going through depression anxiety people in the bible depression is depression is a demon you're affected because your mind become affected by things that were whispered in your head and you keep it there you don't need these things in your life and if you can't do it by yourself go get the help you need Go find a counselor. Go find whoever you need to fix it. Go fix it. There are many places out there that offered free services. Lots of places that offer free services. Yes, you might be on a wait list, but it's free. There are people who you have to probably pay some money and use your insurance to pay. Go seek the help you need. We also have Impact Gospel Radio. 
who have a lot of resources as well. Dr. Clifton Rutti put a lot of things in place in the community for community members. But as I said, we are not coming to look for you. You have to seek because when we come to look for you, it wasn't you that need the help. It was we that giving you the help. When you go look the help yourself, then it's you that truly need the help. And it will come to you. We also have Simplify. It's a Christian, um, a Christian based platform where Pastor Michael Clark talk about how to simplify your walk with God. We have It's Raw, which is very, I like It's Raw. It's thought provoking. It's a platform where we discuss, Michael and I discuss thought provoking um, conversation. We have thought provoking conversation. Okay? Join us www.mentalhealthhorizon.com If you have any comment, I when I'm here, I do monitor the comment box some people text me privately <laughs> and that's okay that's okay if they want to discuss something private that's fine with me because it's a safe safe place info at mentalhealthhorizon.com if you want to tell us something our number is 431-721-2172 that was Michael giving me the number that's our number. Call us. We are going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us. Have a great evening. Impact Gospel Radio and Mental Health Horizon. All information posted or aired is merely for educational purposes and is not a substitute for seeking further professional advice. While the information aired has been verified to the best of our abilities, we cannot guarantee there are no mistakes or errors. We reserve the right to change this policy at any time. If you want to stay up to date with the latest mental health information, please visit our website at www.mentalhealthhorizon.com, book an appointment at info at mentalhealthhorizon.com, or tune into the broadcast every Monday evening at 6.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time.